across the West. Bye-bye. Next, all the headlines and developing stories on BBC Newsroom Live and join us later for the BBC News at One. You're watching BBC Newsroom Live, it's 11 o'clock, and right now, these are the main stories. Scientists issue their strongest warning yet on climate change, saying society must undergo rapid and far-reaching change to meet targets. The IPCC report says temperature rises should be limited to no more than 1.5 degrees Celsius, just half the increase currently predicted. Authorities in China say they're holding the worldwide head of Interpol on suspicion of corruption and bribery. 20 people die when a stretch limousine crashes in New York State. It's the deadliest, deadliest US road accident in a decade. Nicola Sturgeon is set to defend her support for a second Brexit referendum as she speaks to delegates on the second day of the SNP conference and calls for tighter regulation of bouncy castles after the BBC learns more than 20 people have died on inflatable play equipment in the UK since 2011. Good morning and welcome to BBC Newsroom Live. I'm Carol Walker. Scientists have given one of the starkest warnings yet about the changes needed to tackle climate change. The report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says that limiting temperature rises to no more than 1.5 degrees Celsius will require massive changes to the way we live. It warns that without action, all the world's coral reefs will die out and low-lying regions will disappear because of rising sea levels. Our science correspondent Victoria Gill reports. <laughs> 